Hi guys, today I will be teaching you how to make these really cute pet beds. This is um, one that I made using one Okay, screen. so getting started, we are going to do a slip knot and you are going to do a cross just like this, just like a cancer awareness ribbon. And this is our working string. We are going to twist and then you are going to stick your fingers through that loop and pull the working string. So it should look just like this. You want to pull through three times, so I'm going to stick my finger through. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Once you've situated the yarn, you can kind of tug at it and see there's, there's your loop one, here's your loop two, and here's your loop three. So now we're moving to loop one. So if I come back, here's, here's that uh, tail. This is going to be my loop one right here. This big piece, loop one. I'm going to stick my fingers through and I'm going to, I have my loop one, I have my loop three. I'm gonna join them together. I'm gonna get my working yarn and I'm going to pull through just like this through my loop one and I am going to join it with my loop three so I have my two right there. And I'm going to get my working yarn and I'm going to pull it through both of the loops that are still in my hand. So I'm gonna pull it through both of the loops and now I just have one loop. Now I'm going to go back to my very first loop and you can always find it because that's where that's where the tail is so there's my loop right there I'm going to go into that loop I'm gonna pull through and then I have two once I have the two I'm going to pull through one more time and then one so as you can see, it's starting to form a circle. So you will continue going back into that first loop a total of six times. So you'll just keep, keep going until you count your sixth stitch. You'll pull through one, as I'm doing right here, you'll just pull through one and grab the working string and then pull through till you just have one loop. What I like to do is I like to situate it and I like to move this out so I can kind of see what I'm working with. And as I move it out, I can see where my stitches are. So I could see the outer stitches right here. You see those loops? Those are all of my outer stitches so I'm able to see them. And I like to just kind of pull it, tug at it, so that I'm able to really look at what I'm working with. And just keep rearranging it so you can see the pattern of where it's going. Okay, so once I've created that, what I like to do is I like to use um, a clothespin. You could use a clothespin or you could use a really small um, hair clip. But take a look at your stitches. And this last, this last stitching, if you look on the side, you have, you have this one right here and you have this one right here. This is your inner stitch and this is your outer stitch. So right here on this outer stitch, I'm going to pin it just so that I know that's my outer stitch right there. So if you move it forward, 
This stitch right here is your inner stitch. That's your outer stitch. Okay, so if you take a look at what we're working with, there's my pen right there. Let's ignore that just for now. We have this loop right here, and then take a look at the stitches that are right next to this loop. So we have these stitches that are right next to the loop, right in through here. This is our inner stitch, because it's inside, and this is our outer stitch, because it's outside. So we're going to get our loop, and I want to work with the outer stitch, so I'm gonna pull the outer stitch up, just like this. I'm going to get this loop, I'm gonna stick my fingers through, and I wanna get the working yarn, and I wanna pull it through just the outer stitch. So I'm gonna pull it through just the outer, so I have these two loops. Now I'm going to pull it through one more time so that I can have just one loop. So once again, I'm going to go into that same hole and I'm going to pull through one so that I have two stitches and then pull through one more time so that I have one stitch. I'm gonna move to the next outer stitch, which is this one right here. You see that's my inner stitch move to my next outer stitch. I'm going to pull through one so that I have two stitches. I'm going to pull through so that I have one stitch. So I'm moving on to my next stitch, my next outer stitch. So as you can see, this is my inner stitch. Right here is my outer stitch. So I'm going to pull through one, and then I will have two, and then I will pull through both of them. So I have one. Now I'm going in, working to the, working in the same stitch, I'm going to pull through one so that I have two, and then pull through both of them. So I'm doing two in one stitch. Doing, so moving on to the next, here's my inner stitch, here's my outer stitch. So I'm going to get my outer stitch because that's the one that I want and I'm going to do two in that one. So I'm going to pull through one, just one over, and then I have two and then pull through one going back in that same stitch. I'm okay, so we are right back where we started. So that's the outer stitch. So now we have to look for the outer stitch on this one. So if I take a look here, if I face it this way, you could see that this is my inner stitch right here. There's my inner stitch. And there's my outer stitch. So this is the this is the stitch that I'm wanting to work with. So I'm going to get this stitch. I'm going to move the clip over to that stitch. So we're going to leave that stitch alone for a little bit. We're going to move on. So here we are. And if you take a look here, this is our inner stitch. This is our outer stitch. So this is the one that I'm looking for. This one right here. So now this round, we've gone around once, we're gonna go around twice, and we did two, two in each one. So we did two, 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 two. Now we're gonna do one, skip, two, one, skip, two. So this is what that looks like. We're gonna get one on your outer stitch, pull through one, Pull through two, so there's one. And then the next one, if you take a look at our next, here is your inner, and there is your outer. So we're gonna do two in this one. So you will go one, two in the same hole. So 
there's your inner, there's your outer, and you're going to go one. So one complete double stitch. There's your inner, there's your outer. Then you will do two in this one. So now we are going to move our pin to, to the back, the back stitch again. So here's the front stitch, there's the back stitch. We're going to move it in through here. So now, as you can guess, it's just a pattern. So we did two, 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 two on the first round, and then we did one. Two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. So now we are doing one, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, two, two, two. So there's, so we're gonna do one. Here's our first stitch. Here's our back stitch. It kind of rises up right now. So here's one single here's two so there's your front stitch there's your back stitch now in the back stitch this one I'm going to do two so one in the same stitch, two. So once again, I moved my clip to the back stitch. Loop. And if you take a look at what's in front of my loop, I have this stitch right here, which is my front stitch, and then this stitch right here, which is my back stitch. So I'm gonna grab my back stitch. And now I'm doing three, two, two, three, two, two. So there's one. Two, three, and then the next one is going to be two, two. So there's three. Add my front stitch here, my back stitch here. So I'm gonna grab my back stitch. And I'm going to do two within this hole of my back stitch. So one, two in the same hole. Now I'm going to do three singles. So there's my front stitch, there's my back stitch, front and back. I'm gonna get my back stitch. One, two, three and then two in this one so here's my front stitch here's my back stitch and I'm gonna do two in this one there's one move my yarn go back in that same hole and do two Okay, so now I am going to move over my pin, lift this up, take a look at where my last stitch is. So there's my first stitch, there's my last stitch, so I'm going to put it on the end stitch. Now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. So if I stretch this out, I can see what I'm working with. There's my first stitch, there's my last stitch, so I'm gonna take the back stitch. One, single, two, single, three, 
three single. Four single. And then a double. So you're gonna do the same stitch in this one. So this is gonna be the one, two. So here I merged the two yarns together just to make it bigger. You can stop at this point and start to create the side walls, but I just wanted this bed to be a little bit bigger. Again, you can stop either at the 2-2 um, two, two, or you can stop at the 1-2 dep depending on the size of the pet, but this one will fit all three, all three dogs. It's a large size. Okay, so we are going to continue. Hi, huh, Molly, we're gonna continue. And this is, um, this is the size of the small. Okay, so now we are going to make the walls of the bed. Um, I sewed this piece on because I didn't have enough. Okay, so now we are looking at, we have the front stitch and the back stitch. Now we're gonna take both of those stitches, so I'm gonna, rise both of the stitches up, stick my fingers through, pull out the loop, okay, so I'm going to go through the two stitches, so I have this one and this one, so I'm going to go through both of them. I'm going to stick the yarn through just once so that I have two and then out one. So I have my, my two stitches, my front and my back right here. I'm going to stick my fingers through both of them. Pull out the yarn so I'll have two and then cap off with one. I have my front and my back right here, so I'm going to stick my fingers into both of them. Pull through the yarn. So I have two. And then pull through, so I have one. I have my front and back right here. I'm going to pull through. So I have two and then one. Okay, so I am right back where I'm right back where I started. I have my little marker right here. I'm going to go back, get my my clothespin, my marker, and here's the inside. There's my front and here's my back. So I'm going to just clip that right there so I know where I'm working with. So this is all of my interior right here. And now I have, once again, there's my back and there's my front. Now I'm going to stop stitching in the back and I'm just going to move into the front. This is gonna um, create that outer wall so that it starts to lift up. So I'm going to come through the first one and then in through the second one. So I'm looking just for the inner stitch. So my inner stitch is right here. And pull out. Sometimes it's hard to see where your inner stitch is. Just start tugging at it and then it will it'll become more apparent to see where you're working. So there's two and one. There's my inner right there. Through one, pull through two. Here's my inner. We're 
we're just gonna do that all the way around. So there's my outer stitch, there's my inner stitch. I'm gonna grab the inner stitch. Okay, so I am working on my fourth skein. Um, I'm just going to, I just sewed this piece together and I'm going to just keep going inside the inner wall. And I'm using that inner stitch, so there's my outer. I'm using that inner stitch to add one, the inner stitch to pull through one. And I will just continue doing this until, um, really until I run out of this skein, and then I will close off. At any time you're able to close off, I wanted this pet bed to be a little bit larger, but as I mentioned, you can start the sidewalls at any time um, per revolution. So if you want to revolve once and start the walls, that's perfectly fine. This is the finished product. I could have gone higher on the walls, but I didn't. I just wanted to stop there. And this is my fur babies just loving on the bed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and learn something new. Molly. Molly, let mommy finish. <laughs> Molly, let mommy finish. Molly, please. You don't even fit in it.